Hello and welcome to the third episode in this series, How to Reference in the Harvard System. So far in the series, we have looked at in-text referencing, creating a bibliography and the formatting for the standard academic sources you are likely to encounter. In this video, however, we will be looking into how to reference music specific sources. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to correctly reference music specific sources, such as an album, a YouTube video, or even a music score. Most other disciplines will usually never be asked to cite these sources, so it can be difficult to find the specific information and the format required for these types of sources. There are many different types of music specific sources, and many of these are not the standard print format, such as a textbook or an academic book. I've broken down the different types of sources music students may encounter into three categories. These are recordings, scores, and film. Recordings will include items such as an album, a CD, MP3, or even a YouTube video, though this can also be included in film. Scores may include printed scores, digitally downloaded scores, such as those from MuseScore, or even manuscripts. And finally, film may include a TV documentary, an online video or streamed video, and feature films or films for entertainment. The good news is, the format is not that different to other sources, but with so many different kinds of items and each one including slightly different information, it can get a little confusing. So let's break it down to make it a little easier. We will focus on three specific sources you are likely to reference, one from each category, an album, a music score, and a YouTube video. Let's start with an album. In the bibliography, the reference should appear like this. The format isn't too different from a book. For example, we still need the name of the artist and the year of publication, as well as the title of the album in italics. But what is different to a book is that we need the format of the album. For example, is it recorded on a tape, a CD or a vinyl? And this information should appear in square brackets. Many record companies will have a catalogue number. And finally, we need the name of the record label, similar to a book publisher. Here's an example of how a real bibliography reference looks for an album. If we were to write a sentence in our essay about this album, we would need to include an in-text reference. This would simply be the name of the artist and the year in rounded brackets. I found all of this information on a website that sells the album. Here we find the name of the artist, which is the Dunedin Consort, the name of the album, and the catalogue number and record label. So long as you know where to look for this, the information is easy to find, and it will usually always appear on websites where the album is for sale, whether that's for digital download or purchasing the physical CD. Sometimes you might just want to reference a single track rather than a whole album. The format is essentially the same as referencing a single chapter in an edited book. After year, we simply include the title of the individual track in inverted commas. Here is an example of how to reference a track, Every Valley Shall Be Exalted, from the Dim Eden Consort's album, Handel Messiah. Now, when it comes to the in-text referencing, this is a little bit different. Unlike a book, where we would include the page number, we wouldn't normally do this for an album. Though I would encourage you to include a specific reference to the title of the track, 
in the body of the text to make it clear to the reader what is being referred. If you are referring to multiple single tracks that are all from the same album, you do not need to include multiple entries in the bibliography. Simply make it clear in the body of the text that all the tracks come from one album. Readers should be able to understand this so long as the paragraph is written clearly. Here is one example. Several airs with the Dublin version of Handel's Messiah are quite different to what is typically sung, including But Who May Abide, Rejoice Greatly, and He Shall Feed His Flock, as heard in the recreated version released on CD. In the paragraph, I have referred to three tracks. But who may abide, rejoice greatly, and he shall feed his flock. At the end, I have just one in-text reference, and this is to the Dunedin Consort album. This code will take us to the bibliography entry. Remember, if you are only referring to a single track, then use this as the reference in the bibliography instead. If it is multiple tracks, then you can include the whole album as the reference. A YouTube bibliography entry is practically the same as a website, but it depends on whether the author, or rather creator, has named themselves. Here's an example of content where we know the name of the creator. It's Neil de Perez de Costa. But here is the confusing bit. Sydney Khan is the name of the YouTube channel. Now, if we watch the video, we can see that this is a lecture delivered by Professor Neil Perez de Costa, who's also credited in the title. It is therefore appropriate that he is credited as the author. But what about something with music content? Well, here we have a video created by the early music ensemble, Concerto Caledonia. They also own the YouTube channel. Since they are playing the music on the video, it is appropriate that they are credited as the author or rather the creator. This also means that the creator of the channel is the same as the creator of the content. But take care and think critically when citing anything on YouTube. Often owners of channels will steal content or will include music that's not credited in their description box. Think about what you are wanting to quote or refer to and make sure the correct author is given. Finally, we come to the printed score. Now you may recognize the bibliography format. It's very similar to a book but here is where it gets a little tricky. Say we have a score and the composer is Mozart, but the score was published long after his death, as is the case in this example. This is an example of an edition published in 1981. It's therefore important we include the editor in the citation. When it comes to the in-text referencing, we have to include the same information and it would appear like this. Though it may look odd to reference Mozart and 1981, it will become clear when looking at the bibliography. Remember, the in-text reference is just the first part of the code. When it comes to referencing a manuscript, there are a few more things we need to include in the reference depending on where it's come from. For example, most manuscripts will be found in an archive, in which case we need the document number and the collection information. However, most manuscripts you will encounter will be found online, on websites such as IMSLP, or library sites such as the Library of Congress. Again, Sites like IMSLP will include all the information needed for the reference. For example, we know that this is an autographed manuscript, but no date is included. 
IMSLP will also tell us who uploaded the document, and often this will be a library, but not always. If it is a library or a professional organisation, we can click through to their site to find more specific information. The whole point of referencing is to be transparent about where you found your sources, so don't be tempted to say you found the source elsewhere. It is better to be honest about where it was found, that way the reader is aware. So remember, if you are lucky enough to get your hands on a physical manuscript source, we will need to see the following information. The catalogue number, or where you found the item on the library shelves, which library it's held by, and the title of the collection. These answers can be a little more tricky to find, but you can always ask the librarian or archivist who will be on hand. There are many more sources we could talk about, but in these three videos, we have covered the main sources you are likely to encounter as a music student. If there are any areas of referencing you would like clarified, please let me know and I will create a video covering the topic. Thank you for watching and good luck.